Hey there, this is Steve Achieve Skills, and Ben, I've got your plan open here, and I, I did watch Eric's video, which he d always does a phenomenal job, and uh, I wanted to just go at this just a little differently. <clears throat> the result's the same, so take your time watching this if you're interested. Um, the first thing I think I would do here to make your life a little easier is to create a plan view for the for the roof. So I would just duplicate this first floor view, call it roof plan view, click OK, and then edit that view and go to general and well, selected defaults and pick the roof annotations. It'll switch all these. So now everything's for that. And then your reference display. You know, I people don't do this very often, but I would actually open this, copy this set, and call it, I'd just say reference display roof plan view. And make a separate ref display just for this. And I'm going to select all. I don't know why you have them black, but so that we know it's a ref set, I'm going to change them all to red. You can change them whatever color you want, but I wouldn't make them black because you're going to get confused with what's on your um, regular set. But the other thing I would is turn these fixtures off. I noticed you had those on and click OK, click OK. And um, <clears throat> on this roof plan view, I continue to edit. I probably should have done this already, but I would go to the defaults go to this set and I personally don't like to see these ridge caps um, or the gutters this is personal preference or the overhang area and I turn all those off and then for the roof plane itself roof plane right here I like to turn it a bold color like blue right here pick a color you like I don't care change it to a solid line for the roof plane view and maybe make this 50 or 75 or whatever you want so you can really see it and click OK. And right now your roof is up here on this attic level. And uh, so you could just on this view right here, I'm going to say no for now. I would say put this on the attic level. OK. That way there, when you say we close this view and then we double click and open it, it goes to the attic level. Now you've got two floors you can work on simultaneously. You got your floor plan view and you've got your roof plan view. And when you hit F9 here, you can see some of your walls. And again, I think it needs a little editing. So if you click on the A right there, it brings up this ref display and then click here and then I say you need to turn all your walls on here um, I turn I turn on walls main layer walls normal and walls invisible and the invisible walls I would just change that to a dotted line or something there you go so now you can see I also probably would turn the layers off um, let's just go up here again say layers and I turn those off there you go. So now you can see your ref display real clearly. I've got my line weights on. So when you zoom in, you can see how large these lines are. I probably, one more thing on this ref display, I probably would change these select all and just change them all to say one. So they're really in the background. So anyway, that's one thing I would do. Now I saw how Eric fixed this roof and... Um, what I, I would probably just do it a little differently because in actuality, I'm deleting these roofs, but this is the roof you actually want to keep right there. So I would keep that roof, break it right here and just pull it back like this and pull it up. Do the same here. Put a user three key, break it right there, pull it up, pull it back. Then click here, hit your two key, and join these two roofs. And then Eric was doing this join, you know, right click or whatever, but they have a tool. This tool right down here, intersect join two lines. 
click that and just click down here like Eric was doing and it'll join those same here and you can put a hotkey for it I have one JL <clears throat> and there you go and then two key join that two key join that two join those two roofs join these two roofs done that was fast now on this side um there's some things going on here and i think like he pointed out you have some different roof ceiling heights and one thing you could do is click in this room and open it and you will see that double click i guess in the general tab no structure tab i'm sorry you got 109 and an eighth and that's the default so down here you got the mat, uh, selected match properties tool so select ceiling elevation click ok and you can see that there's rooms right here that are not the right ceiling elevation or you've changed them or something happened you can come down here and apply properties and then that ceiling elevation you can now click in this room and apply it click here in these little gaps I guess they are and in here and um, that should fix that uh, you can go back over here uh, if you rebuild the roof now it's going to be it's going to screw up what we probably did over here let's let's just try it so I hit build roof planes build roof planes I'm going to retain these I'm going to click those and click OK and you get this message that something's going on right here and I've tried to mess with it and I can't and it doesn't fix these even though we fix the uh, you know we fix the room elevation so I I don't know what's going on I'm not smart enough honestly <laughs> so I don't like to mess with chief I just like to get things done so again I would use this tool and join this roof right here uh, and so you have a straight line and then just use the Q key and draw a roof in right here. Hit the two and join this. Oh, that didn't work. Command Z. Uh, let me just double check something here. 117 and 3 16 Oh, wrong height. Huh. So what you can do, <clears throat> if you want to pick the same up just click right there draw a line and draw up and now it'll match and then just do this two key join here two key join here join here and these are not correct so let's join those and they're not correct because this line has this extra node see so I'm going to click up here near the top click this little tool right here click down here yes now use the two key and join those it had an extra node in that hip and there is your roof all done and a little different than Eric's now um, <clears throat> one thing I found about doing dormers like this is sometimes it's easier just to create a blank floor but we'll do this with the dormer tool since Eric didn't do it that way and I'm going to use this auto flow. Actually, actually, what I'm going to do is something different. I'm going to click on this roof and come down here. See this little icon is create hole. And I am going to use your room right here and draw that and pull it out to there and out to here. Actually, like like Eric had it, if you just no, I'm sorry. I'm just going to break it right here in the middle and pull this up. And then <clears throat> I am going to do what? I am going to, I don't know. How about if I come out here and I just pick a line randomly right here and pull up to the center. All right. Now, if we look at this, in uh, 3d and we'll let's do what Eric does vector view and then turn textures off and turn color off and it's easier to see in fact I'm going to turn the shadows off also but as you can see where I clicked 
picked up that elevation of that roof line right there. So let's go back. And what I did here is pick up the center of this window or it's the door below actually. And I'm going to pull this back like this a little bit. I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to click this and then click this and join them and click this and join it. There you go. Then I'm going to click this. I'm going to go copy and reflect about and just flip it over. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the two key and join this right here. Well, right here. Then I'm going to take the two key and join this right here. And then I am going to take a wall and an exterior wall and just draw it right above here. And that's fine. Change the wall type, open it and change it to siding four. And then I'm going to move it with this tool and align it and pull it through. And I'm going to open it and make sure it's an attic wall. Click OK. And then I am going to take this and just drag it out. And again, I'm going to take this line, <coughs> excuse me, and make that a straight line. And I'm going to dra drag this out. Oops, that's the baseline. No, <laughs> I'm going to take this node and drag it out. And again, I'll take this, use this tool, this. Yes, I should have clicked. I always forget to do that. Let's just take a view here. And as you can see, we're getting it, although it looks like the roof. Um, oh, there's there's my there's my wall. And um, so let's just take a look what we got going here. Um, the hole is behind the wall. Where is my wall, by the way? I think my, my attic walls must be turned off. There we go. So I open my layer set and turn my attic walls back on. So let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. So let's pull this out here. There we go. And there is your dormer. It's a little different than the way Eric did it. And then I would just take a window and just drop it in here. It doesn't matter where. And click on it and hit the center tool. Where is that? Right here. Center it on this ridge. And you are good to go. I don't know what you want window wise. But that is a quickie. Uh, turn the color back on. There you go quickie way to do that roof pretty fast and uh, I hope that helps.